Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I thought I'd try something different for an LP. It's an experimentation. It's a Capcom Super Nintendo game starring a character that was announced for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Yes, if you've heard this by now, the game in question, if you see the fire, if you see embers going up, so I might give you a little bit of a clue. It contains fire. He appeared in Ghouls and Ghosts. He's an arch enemy of Arthur, and he is one of the coolest anti-characters in existence. Underrated and underappreciated for what he is, a badass villain. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we start an LP of one of Super Nintendo's most underrated classics, the incredibly awesome Demon's Crest. Yes, Demon's Crest for the Super Nintendo is tonight's LP. I thought I'd try this as an experimentation because I don't do Capcom games mostly. Well, I did Mega Man, but uh, Demon Crest stars Firebrand. And if you notice, you start in a Colosseum of sorts, and that's not a good sign. Oh, shit. Well, basically, here's the backstory of how Firebrand got here in the first place. Firebrand was once the king of the underworld. Unfortunately, a demon called Phalanx beat him and overthrew him. Now he's stuck in a Colosseum fighting to the death. As you can see, Firebrand's specialty in this game is flying. Unfortunately, you fly at a certain height and you can't go up and down. Anyway, this dragon is called Sumono. He is your first boss. You have to shoot fireballs when he lowers his head like that, as you can see. Unfortunately, you can still get hit. Although you may not see it, he actually has four bits of health in the game. And now watch him. Keep pounding him until he falls onto it, falls down, and the exit opens up. You get out, and you can start the game. Which is pretty interesting, considering there's three of them. But, Sumoto is not done yet. Oh, no, he's not. He wants a rematch, but unfortunately, the stupid, stupid dragon got stuck. Silly demon dragon thing. Now, you can kick his ass. Keep shooting fireballs his head until his skin melts off and his skull drops. Now, he's dead now. And when you're done, you can pick up the health extension. You get a lot of these in this game. Anyway, Demon's Crest is one of the most is one of the most infamous games out there. Due to its NES-like difficulty of stupidly hard. And if you know Schools and Ghosts has a reputation for being fucking hard. Special. This is Capcom and then legendary. This is this is when back this is when Capcom were back in the day were awesome instead of being dickish like they're doing in the last six months. Because here, you can take on these road figures. One fire breath and they just burn to death. After all, we are in the underground, which is basically a demon's world. And in the demon's world, everything is evil! Which is why fire, except Firebrand, Firebrand is technically its king, and therefore he wants to reclaim his throne, Phalanx. Or Phalanx, I can't see the spell his name anymore. So, these are axe throwing things to take two hits. These small fireballs to become a one bit of health. You're gonna need these. And you pick up a map. Very important you pick up that map because it allows you to go anywhere. You have to pick up every item in this game. This is how Demon's Crest works. There are three endings. If you fail to get all the crests normally, you get the bad ending and you get overthrown and you get to this again. However, if you get if you get an incomplete ending, if you didn't get all the items, cut every item you get the good ending. Anyway, we're about to take on our next boss, the Hippogriff, which is actually bloody easy as well. All he does is just swoop down and fire feathers. Watch, watch out for these feathers. Feathers are very hard to control. So, just carry on. Uh, good old cat comes. Rapid fire, fire breath. After all, you are fire breath. Or red, whatever the hell he's called.
world in Japan. Everyone knows him as Firebrand, basically. After a bunch of heads, he turns back into a statue. Once he, turn, once he turns back into a statue, headbutt it again to bring him back. So let's just do that again. Smack him. Hit him. Smack him. And now all he just does is dramatically die after you hit him. Once you, once you beat him, he turns to stone again. Headbutt him. Oh, that's still a terrible, terrible, terrible for a demon. And you collect the next health up. If I remember, right, if I remember my game correctly, you get a lot of health ups in this game. Anyway, first level was the Colosseum. That was the cemetery. Now we're at the cliffs. Which isn't really much, considering you can actually fly through that opening bit. But my problem with this game is quite simple. You can't duck, and it's very hard to try and get an em ba and keep the balance if you want to collect items. Yes. As I said before, you need, uh, you need to probably get every item in the game to get the full ending, which is fucking ridiculous considering how you have to go back quite a few times for certain areas in order to get to new ones. We'll show you the basic ones here. Uh, these crawling spider things you can easily kill with your fire breath. Now, how does a how does a firebrand climb cliffs in this game? It's quite simple. You just latch onto a cliff and just climb up and jump. You'll probably see them in here. Go down here, you'll get to find yourself a go down here. You find a valley. Alongside with the map you got, and there's pretty much those uh, weird plant things which you can't should climb on. So over we go. I love the Capcom music. Right, that was the first part of the cliffs. Here come the real cliffs. Yeah, this is a really difficult one. You know, those little small fire things, they're, they're health in this game. Large ones fill some... Small ones take one health back. Large ones take about a bit more. About two or three. I'm not sure, I haven't played this in ages. Yeah, it's true. I have beaten this game once. I was very young and it was pretty much still a hard game then. So, just I'm going through my I'm doing this as a rem as a constant reminder because Cap Firebrand is one of Capcom's underappreciated characters. In fact, in the poll he came ninth out of out of 17 established out of 17 established char characters of Capcom, he came ninth. Considering he's in the top ten, he's still one of Capcom's original characters. Also, the fact that he's an enemy as well, Arthur really helps as well. So, that was a vellum and an urn. Yeah, that was called a vellum, the other one was called an urn, I don't remember that. So, we're about to take on our first, well, first recurring boss of the game. This is Lanix's General Arm. General. His name is Armor. I've watched your progress, and I'm glad that I shall be the one that put an end to your petty crusade. Says that I believe you have heard of me. I am Armor, flying douchebag, and I will be your executioner. Oh yeah, I heard of you, all right? Your ground meat. Remember, planet Armor is one of the more tr is actually an easy boss. You can hit him while he's hovering. Uh, don't. Don't hover yourself, you're, you're a big target if you're hover. So I've never heard the jumping, shooting, and it's a lot, it's a lot simpler in this game. Well, for this part, because you'll be using a lot of hovering in this game when you get a few things. So, keep shooting him, keep shooting him, and he'll do some pretty good damage. That's a very powerful attack. Uh, I think it's also a laser. Yeah, it's all like a laser shot. I'll remember that next time. Anyway, avoid his attacks. God, that's the end of that. Also, that's the end, nearly the end of the first part. Once you've beaten the cliffs, you can finally move on. You de do seem to possess the strength people have been talking about. I look forward to our next encounter. Yes, yeah, we'll be looking forward to our next encounter. Anyway, from his defeat, he drops this cool looking... It's, of course, our first crest, the Crest of Earth. With 
this. You can transform into a grey gargoyle and gain great speed and the strength to break stone statues. That's going to be very handy. Anyway, we move on, we move on to our um, overview of the world itself with a school. Anyway, in the next part we're going to that town in the west, so we'll see you next time.